This is a traditional Mexican uh, dessert, and we're gonna make it, but we're gonna make it with Rose Angel tequila, of course. We're gonna make a Rose Angel caramel, we're gonna pour it over our flan, a little bit of fresh mango. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna crack some eggs. You can use a lot of different milks here. I like to use an evaporated milk and a sweetened condensed milk. And so I'm just gonna take this milk, put it right in. It'll whisk it till it's all the way incorporated. And of course you want to have your oven preset for 350. So we can go ahead and turn that on. We're gonna set that to the side. So that's done, that's our custard. That's the base of your whole dessert there. So now time to work with the caramel. All right, so for the caramel, it's just sugar and tequila. Very, very simple. We're just gonna heat it up nice and hot, make it into caramel. And then uh, that's what's gonna spill over the flan. That's the Nice brown sauce that's over the flan. Take our sugar, about a quarter cup of sugar is plenty. And we're just gonna take a little bit of our tequila here, the Rose Angel. We're gonna let this sit, and it's gonna get nice and hot, and it'll start bubbling. It should take about eight to 10 minutes or so. And uh, once you get that nice caramel color, it's done, pull it off. Never touch this stuff, it's really hot. So now it's time to uh, dish it up and bake it off. So we've got our ramekins. You can do this in a shallow ramekin, a deep ramekin. I like these deep ones. So I'm just gonna spoon this caramel right in. Just a good two teaspoons or so into each. You can smell that tequila, it smells nice. All right, we got our custard here. We're just gonna pour this uh, custard right over the caramel like so. So this will get inverted out later and that caramel will melt over the uh, top of our nice flan. So finally, we're going into the oven. We set our oven earlier to 320. Now you want to bake it in a water bath. And I've already got my water in here going. And this water is just going to control the custard to keep it from cooking at a nice, even consistency. We're just going to set our custard in like so and shut the oven. And it should take a good 35, 45 minutes. All right, so it's been about 40 minutes or so. I'm going to check my custard. And you want it to be firm, you don't want it to be overcooked. These are still a little, little hot, obviously, so we're gonna put them in the fridge. We're gonna cool them down until they're just cold enough for me to work with. Let them sit in there for a good 45 minutes or so. So now we're gonna pull them out of the fridge, they're chilled enough. All right. What you wanna do is just insert your knife on the edge here, run around the outside and release it from the side of the dish. All right, so now it's time to plate one of these. Just dump in that nice Rose Angel caramel on there. What you're gonna be able to taste is this Rose Angel really stand out. It's got some nice floral notes to it. It's gonna taste excellent. We're just gonna dump a little fresh mango on top, just some mango that we diced up earlier. So there you have it. Rose Angel caramel flan, little mango, enjoy.